premature baby fathers negatively affect single mothers. They're extremely annoying and if you've got one in your life, he can actually cause you and your child more harm than good in the long run. Especially when you're unable to have a basic conversation about the needs of your child without ever seeming to be taken seriously or it always ending up in a problem or there being an argument. Just never being able to see eye to eye with the father of the child because you're dealing with a little boy. Now, in these types of situations, having no father around is much better than having a childish one around who just makes life harder for the single mother, literally driving her crazy. Now, these types of undeveloped men who are incomplete fathers leave single mothers feeling angry, agitated, frustrated and just confused by their petty behaviour, expecting the mothers of their children to simply put up with it and entertain their utter foolishness. Having an immature baby father can leave a woman going around and around in circles of arguments and misunderstandings. A mother will often find herself having to break things down for the father of her child at his level and just when she thinks she's got through to him, he manages to take her right back to square one, leaving her totally speechless by the high ranking of his lack of maturity, thinking stuff like, I can't believe he actually believes that what he's saying is right. What planet is this complete idiot living on? The childishness is real, ladies, and will leave you stunned, believe me. Just the other day, I asked my child's father in total disbelief, how old are you? And he replied, 13. Here are five things you can expect when dealing with an immature father. One, immature outbursts and immature emotions. You can't speak to this guy about anything without him giving a juvenile reply that he thinks is pussy clever, when in reality it's beyond pathetic and you actually pity him and the fact that he thinks he makes sense when he hugely lacks it instead. And he can never understand where the mother of his child is coming from and he won't take her feelings into consideration either because He's more likely to laugh at her annoyance and irritation caused by his immaturity when there's nothing even funny about that. Two, disrespect. For example, insulting the mother of his child's parenting or her personal life, which has nothing to do with him anyway. Throwing things from her past in her face, bringing his new girlfriends outside her home when he's only there to collect their child, spreading false rumours about her, speaking badly about her to others, including to people she doesn't even know, calling her names to her face and so much more. Ladies, please, respect from the father of your child is foundational. So make it clear to him that without respect, nothing else will happen, including a relationship with his child. Tolerating disrespect from your child's father will eat away at your self-esteem and will not teach your children anything good about respecting their futures. Many mothers put up with their immature fathers of their children for their children's sakes, but I ask these women now, why would, for the sake of the children, involve supporting and dealing with a disrespectful and childish man whose parenting is inconsistent and ultimately just hurts your child? 3. Irresponsibility an immature father is completely irresponsible in many different ways. For example, how he manages the time he spends with his children. He'll most likely be unreliable and, you know, including when it comes to providing for his children and irresponsible with his overall priorities and duties as a father, like putting women, friends, designer clothes, holidays, nights out, new PS4s and new Xbox video games first, stuff like that. Many immature fathers aren't even responsible enough for their own lives, let alone being responsible for their children, because some of them are still very much under their own mother's wings as mummy's boys. Four, blame. And it's all your fault, every single time. It's your fault that he doesn't have the relationship he should have with his child, despite him being inconsistent or not even making any effort. It's your fault that he doesn't provide for his child. It's your fault that he doesn't know his child's shoe size or their favourite TV programme or favourite serial. It's your fault when he misses his child and it's also your fault that he's not as supportive as he could be. It's your fault that he isn't around. It's your fault that you don't care about him anymore, don't give a damn about him anymore. And it's also your fault that he's mad about that. It's all your fault. Stop it. Five, he lacks empathy for you. 
An immature baby father doesn't care about the mother of his child's feelings. He only cares about how he feels and is stupid enough to believe that his child's mother is responsible for his feelings as well as his lack of effort put into the relationship with his child. An immature father won't care if his child's mother is struggling financially, mentally or whatever. He is most likely to make fun out of her or kick her when she's already down instead of helping lift her back up so that his child rises too in the process. Take it from me ladies, immature fathers are basically unfit fathers and the type of men who want to stay in your life while they try to make you completely miserable. They don't want to see you happy, they don't want to see you move on and for some of these men it's not even about loving their child, it's about hurting their child's mother. So if you're one of these women doing anything in your power to try and keep your child's father involved despite him de being disrespectful to you, please stop as it only ends up with him trying to manipulate you to the point where he won't even provide anymore for his child. Walk away from the spitefulness, the stupidity and the immaturity. Go and live your best life until he learns how to be on his best behaviour. You're much better off without a man who pushes all your buttons purposely just for a reaction and enjoys it all the while knowing that it affects his own child. Some immature fathers still harbour feelings for the mothers of their children and they try to make their lives hell because of it. Sometimes you're better off as a single mother. It's less stressed and there's nobody rude and inconsistent who's just an inconvenience to you in your child's life, continuously making you both unhappy and leaving you with a headache. Bear that in mind, ladies.